exciting stuff this weekend for super coach owners of one Roger Tuovasa Shek, who's been named at fullback for the Warriors. Young Tool Peak, I'm not sure if he's injured or has just been overlooked. I thought he's done pretty well. Failed his HIA against the Canberra Raiders, and it was a Category 1, so it's an immediate 11-day stand-down. Um, Sean Zilker clock started, not back for another couple of weeks either, so we get to see Roger, rogering teams in his natural position. Now, I am a little bit worried for one chance, Nickel Clockstar, who I'm a huge fan of, and I think Tua Picky did quite well. If Roger Tuovasashek goes and lights it up this weekend at fullback, what's to say, what's to stop them saying to Chance, you played plenty of centre at Canberra, you played plenty what? of centre here. You and I said it on one of our many, many podcasts at the beginning of the year, but just because of the number on their back, I think you will see those two interchange where they need to. If, you know, if, if, you're talking about the Warriors running game and, you know, if they're not scoring tries through the power game of Sean, they're just going to move him to the centre and get the ball playing of two of us to check. Likewise, if Nickel Clock starts running for, you know, making 15, 20 metres and every kick return, you're just going to leave him there. That's the thing about positions these days and, it, you know, transitioning to, like, Joey Manu is a right side centre, but you see him pop up on the left side of the field throwing the final pass, you know, for a try. So... I think those two guys will interchange. I think that they signed Nickel Clockstar for a reason and they showed their faith in him by even naming Roger Tua Vashashek in the centres. Like, this is a long-term project for the Warriors now and you can't be sitting there going, oh, what if, what if? Because you, you only have to look at last year. Nickel Clockstar was probably the second or third best fullback in the competition and he's, his talent's just not going to go away. No. We saw it at Canberra. Then the injuries hit. He's gone to New Zealand and he's picked up where he left off. So... I think the Warriors, they, they know what they're doing, and I would back Andrew Webster to be able to just make that subtle switch and turn around and go, hey, if it's not working this game, just switch it up, but then switch it back. I love it. I just think that if Roger goes out and runs for 320 metres, which he could, he's done it in the past, and he sets up three tries, you're going to be just a little bit tempted. Now, I know it is only a number on the bat. I fully with that. And I will put myself in the top few percentage of chances fans last year when they signed Roger I said oh god they can't move RT uh, they can't move him to accommodate RTS he's come in he was for my man of the match last week against the Warriors I know DWZ also played very very well so either or I'm happy with either but I thought he made such a difference out wide then when he went to the back I feel like he might have been just a little bit blunted now it was only 15 minutes so you can't really look into that but I'm very excited to see what he does this weekend I hope he plays well enough that this is a discussion we have to have, just purely for the fun of it. Yeah, I, at the end of the day, I still think that they're going to put him in the centres, but, you know, if, if at any time we see him make a try-saving uh, try, try tackle from fullback, you won't be surprised.